Hayden been sick? He's been really fussy for a couple days, and he's not sleeping. I thought he might be getting a tooth, then I saw him pulling at his ear, and, I, you know, I just want to get him checked out. Yeah, well, I'm glad you made the appointment. Better safe than sorry. Well, you don't need to see a doctor to explain why Aiden's not sleeping. I mean, babies need a routine, and you keep interrupting his routine to use him as a tool to manipulate situations and as an excuse to show up here without, you know, a good reason. I just thought Nicholas would want to know that his baby's not feeling well. No, no, I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, yeah, well, the good news is that you don't really have to worry too much, Nicholas, because she made up this whole ear infection thing to ruin our date, so... to ruin your date. I can take Aiden to the pediatrician all by myself, and I will call no, you and let you know what no. the doctor said. That's not necessary. I'm coming with you. Really? It's okay. No, no, it's not. Look, I'm, I'm sorry that our plans got canceled, but my son comes first. And he should, and she knows that he does, which is why she's using Aiden to manipulate you. <laughs> Look, he's sick. She has a right to be concerned. She's a nurse. She has two other kids. This is not the first ear infection she's ever had to deal with. You're right. It's not. And if Aiden is anything like half the kids I treat, then this ear infection could turn into a chronic problem. I'd rather get it under control now before I have to put tubes in his ears. You're absolutely repulsive. Can you really not see what she's doing? I'm sorry. Seriously? I'm sorry. I have to go. <laughs> Aiden. Oh, he's he's fine. <laughs> no sign of a ear infection, but yes, he was cutting a tooth, which explains why he was so fussy. Well, I'm glad it wasn't anything serious. Yeah, me too. Elizabeth was very apologetic about worrying me. Well, I guess the important thing is that Aiden's okay. So I'm happy to hear that. But I'm just gonna go. And... Uh, yeah, he's he's asleep right now. Uh, Elizabeth wanted me to tuck him in, but he he fell asleep on the car ride home. I didn't really see the point of going inside. Um, listen, I wanted to talk to you about what you were saying about Elizabeth. Nicholas, I was just yeah, trying and to... I know, and I think you might be right. I think she may have been using Aiden, or at least exaggerating his condition, to try and pull us apart and force me to cancel our plans. And I'm sorry for doubting you. 